Priestly Demolition is known for tackling big jobs with big machines. But things will be a little different here at 120 and 130 Adelaide Street. While these hulking structures in the heart of downtown Toronto have a huge footprint, precision will be key on this one. These buildings aren't coming down, they're receiving a facelift. The entire exterior is being reglazed, so the older cladding will need to be removed. That's over 180,000 square feet of panels, being carefully demolished by hand over a two year time span. We're at the corner of York and Adelaide. Once again, Priestley at the cutting edge of starting something new, which is reglazing buildings, and here we are. We're used to Priestley demolition having big machines, big bridges, but uh, this is a different beast. It takes a certain type of person to be on a swing stage 37 floors up, and here's where the boys are with their scalpels and taking windows and trims apart. And it's almost retraining our forces to be used to just wrecking something and going quick to where now you got to take your time and it's tedious work. The sheer volume of work involved has crews working around the clock, with Priestley performing a majority of their work on overnight shifts. Safety will be key, especially in such a high traffic area. I think logistically this is one of the most challenging sites because of its location. I know we have a crash deck that wraps around the entirety of the building, but that doesn't change the fact that there's pedestrian traffic below, beside the deck, vehicles traveling five feet from us. So it's challenging in that way and it's extremely high risk in that way. A project like this is also kind of a balancing act. There's a, a schedule that must be maintained, but that being said, safety is paramount and taking the time that we need to properly remove the panels and not have anything fall and go through our procedure is crucial. We're removing heavy items by hand, 30 stories in there. You need your best guys and, uh, and Priestley has their best guys here. First, we start off on the swing stages, uh, removing panels and tracks from the corners so they can uh, install the climbers. Uh, right now we're working on the climbers, removing panels, insulation, clips, all the tracks. Uh, number one safety here, cannot drop anything. Not a, even a little screw cannot be dropped. All our tools when we work, it has to be all tied off to ourselves all the time. It's a good team I got here on site. We all work together, communication is number one here. One step at a time, taking panels today, tomorrow can be the installation. So. As a team, we work together, communicate every day, every single day before we start. Communication is key, especially between Priestley Demolition and general contractor Flynn. They will be working side by side, so they'll need to run like a well-oiled machine. PDI clears the way, removing sizable sections of panels, and Flynn soon follows behind, installing the new glazing. There's a lot of trades here, and we just try to work as a team, you know, not enemies here. Let's all work together, get the job done, and let's go to the next test. Over the next few months, PDI finds a groove and ramps up the removal of panels. On this kind of high-risk job, slow and steady wins the race. And in this case, PDI's methodical approach is yielding high-end results. As PDI works towards the end of their first year on site, they near completion of the first building. It's been a busy first year for us here at uh, 130, 120 Adelaide. 130 Adelaide went uh, very well. I think they did an extreme job. Uh, they exceeded all expectations as far as schedule, performance of work. Uh, the production here was out of this world. So I think for 120, what we learned on the 130 building has allowed us to kind of hit the ground running. It's been successful to this point. We've completed the 120 south elevation. We're on the west elevation, so that'll leave the north and east in the coming months, but it's been absolutely great. This used to be uh, rods for the air for the building to go in. Uh, we removed it, and now we gotta remove the back pan 
and remove the insulation that's in there. It's uh, quite a bit of work on these little guys here, but we will get it done. Beauty! A job like this generates tons of scrap and debris, something that must be managed on a daily basis. This calls for evening closures of the lanes below. During the final months on site, Priestly Demolition ramps up their efficiency, propelling them towards their final goal, ahead of schedule. Intricate handwork spanning years is not the typical job that comes to mind when you think of Priestly Demolition. But at the end of the day, the crew has proven that it's still just demolition, and demolition is what they do best. With their commitment to excellence, Priestly Demolition has helped extend the life of these buildings for years to come. <laughs>